Hello, in this jQuery video, I am going to show you sliding. So the slide effect essentially allows you to hide and show content, but with like a sliding, you know, effect animation to it. So we've got this little click to slide down panel. It does nothing. It does nothing whatsoever. And that's because we haven't programmed it yet in the JavaScript file. Actually, I've got some old code. This does not pertain to this, so I can get rid of it. And but if I remove this display non temporarily, this is what the content is, and this is being hidden. And we are going to show it with a sliding slide down animation. If we go to our uh, you know JavaScript file, we are going to detect when we are clicking the you know this panel right here. And this has an ID of just panel. So I'm going to put panel. Actually, let me change it to capital P, I just noticed, and capital F. Okay. And I, that's just a personal preference. That's I, that's the way I like my naming convention. So when a click event has occurred, we are going to call this function, simple stuff, selectors and events. If you're unsure about this, feel free to take a look at those videos. So we are going to now select what we want to you know, slide. So in this case, it's the element with that uh, has an ID of flip dot slide down. And if I run it, okay, these also need to be updated. There we go. Okay, so I see it is not working. So why is it not working? So that is interesting. Very interesting. Why it isn't working. If I click to slide down, let me just reload the cat just in case that's the issue right there. Does not seem to be the issue. We get no console errors specifically. I see what I did. I'm, I'm detecting click on the panel and it's the flip button. I'm actually going to call it flip button. And it's the panel that needs to show. <laughs> no wonder the panel isn't there. We can't click it and that's not what we want. Okay, so flip button. You know what? I'm just going to call it slide button. I think that's much better than you know, flip button. So slide button. And now if I reload, again, I need to update it here. And sort it out properly. Reload it. Click it. There you go. It slides. That is really cool. Now we can, what we can do is also have a button to, let's say, hide it. So what I'll do is I'll have actually something similar, but I'll have it below it. So this will be pretty interesting. So this is going to be slide down. This is going to be slide up. I'll also say slide down. Click to slide down, click to slide up, to slide up, and do, 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 do. the only one that's in the HTML I believe I'll do is that this, and if I reload, we get two buttons, and this is messed up because it is slide down, I'll modify this reason where a preprocessor like less or you know SAS really comes into really come in handy so this is slide down make sure this is still working before you proceed if I click it as it slides down slide up doesn't work at the moment simple stuff we copy it paste it change slide down to slide up so that it takes the slide up button click and instead of calling slide down method we call the slide up method if I reload it, slide down, slide up, as you can see, hiding and showing really cool stuff. There's one other method that we can have, and for this, I'm actually just going to have a simple button. So I'm going to say button, 
and this is going to have an ID of slide toggle button. So this can toggle depending on what the current state is. So this is great if you want a universal button that hides or you know slides up or slides down depending on its current state. So slide toggle, and I just need to detect that being clicked first. So it's a slide toggle, and the method I think you've guessed it is slide toggle. And if I were to reload it. I click that as you can see it toggles between the two states we can still you know use these as well we're not you know just limited to the slide toggle but if you want a universal button that handles both of it depending on its current state that's how you do it you can also provide an optional parameter for speed and also an optional callback to be called now a function to be called once the effect is finished I'm covering all of those in separate videos in more depth uh, so feel free to check them out if you have any questions as usual feel free to pop me a message reach out and i will assist you and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video